New ad by the Latino Victory Fund in the Virginia governor's race portrays supporters of Republican Ed Gillespie as violent racists who want to murder kids. Think we're overstating? Watch this. Chair Sussman is the campaign director for the Center for American Progress Action Fund, and she joins us today. Emily, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So, I so, the Democratic Party has put out one of the most racist, if not the most racist, advertisement I have ever seen. And this vile harpy of a woman is going to defend said advertisement, apparently because her opponent is perceived as race baiting, so she's going to do it ten times harder. I can't believe this advertisement was allowed on air, and I feel incredibly sorry for the Republicans in Virginia that have now been smeared as basically murderers that want to kill children. So we're going to go through this video, and if I get a bit frustrated, you know why. Watch this ad. I've seen a lot of tough political ads, you know, over decades of watching it, and I thought, you know, they're they're actually just pushing race war here. That's what this, this is. The most single, most disgusting, unfair thing I've ever seen. I'm not any great Ed Gillespie partisan at all. But, like, I don't see any justification for running something like that. Well, I think the justification is the fact that it's really just putting a mirror up to the campaign that Gillespie has running. See how slanderous can you get? So, Gillespie is apparently running, according to this harpy, uh, a campaign in which his supporters want to go just mow down children. Just because they're Muslim or they're black, you know, just those terrible white people, right? And apparently her solution to this is instead of taking the high road, she is going to just double down and absolutely slander her opponent. It's abhorrent. I would never treat, I wouldn't, I wouldn't treat Christy Winters like this. It's just disgusting. I think a lot of Republicans, I know a lot of Republicans are really disgusted with the campaign that he's been running. It's a lot of race baiting. Look, I don't know what's in his heart. Give, give, give me, give me one thinks. example of Ed Gillespie. Give me one example of Ed Gillespie's race baiting. By putting the Confederate statues at the center of his campaign, by running ads that imply that, m that most people that are immigrants are related to MS-13 or defending MS-13. Well, he hasn't said that most people Relate, who are immigrants or connected to MS-13. I've watched it really carefully. I mean, by the way, Ed Gillespie is on the liberal scale on immigration, to put it mildly. I mean, I'm not attacking him, I'm just saying, like, he's nowhere near Donald Trump on immigration, or me, for that matter. Now, I hope that it's just the plastic surgery and you're not smirking throughout this entire video, you vile, horrible woman. And so you were saying that this person that is uh, less harsh on immigration than Tucker Carlson is apparently leading a group of murderers that want to just mow down children. And your, your only answer to this is, oh, well, he's race baiting, apparently, even though, to be honest, I don't believe you whatsoever. I believe Tucker, because Tucker seems like one of the only good voices in the mainstream media nowadays. Where has he said most immigrants sympathize with MS-13? I've heard him say point blank, MS-13 preys upon immigrants. Look, he, that, the, the ads that he is running are race baiting because they are, they are making people fearful. They're bringing out the worst in people. They're trying to drive people to the polls. So what she's doing is called self-projection as she is putting what her side believe onto her opposition. And two wrongs don't make a, a right, you lunatic. How can you possibly defend this? I'm so sick of this narrative that all white people are just awful human beings. We're just terribly racist. It's just born into our very fibers of our being. What do you expect is going to happen? Yeah, a race war. The, the positive so comments he had made about immigration what is that? in 2006, they were a long time ago. And I think it really shows that, look, he's really willing to say whatever it takes to sell people are out and try to get to, votes. You're defending an ad that has a racist driving a truck with an Ed Gillespie sticker on it trying to murder children. And you're defending it by saying Ed Gillespie is running an ad that makes people fearful? I mean, I've, there's, I don't think there's ever been an ad like the one we just watched. And I hope it never ever happens again because to treat your opposition like this means to me that you must have little to no morals whatsoever. I wouldn't treat my hated people like this. I just wouldn't because it's just disgusting. 
and all you're doing is dividing people. The Democratic Party is always apparently supposed to be about bringing the country together, and then they do stuff like this. How are you possibly defending this? You should be calming these people down, because if they actually believe they're going to be mowed down, you should be like, look, no, they're not. They're not whatsoever. Have you ever seen anything like that? I think we're living in an era we've never lived in before. I think what's unique about the last year is that a lot of people are coming forward with statements that used to just be dog whistles are now overt racist But statements. what is that? If that's, that's not... That's based on an actual event that happened. What's so funny? What is so funny about this topic? Uh, it's a horrific event, right? Uh, you know, Gillespie's audience just want to, or followers just want to kill people, right? What is so freaking funny? I hate this woman. I'm so sick of the Democratic Party being massive racist and then just calling all of us racist. What is wrong with you? What did Adam Gillespie have to do with that event? Well, I don't know what he had to do with the event necessarily. Well, why are you tying him because, to it? Because he's creating a racist environment where people are feeling emboldened. By, by what? Yeah, Gillespie's the one that's making Antifa from Black Lives Matter just <laughs> slaughter people, you know, cause so much property damage. Oh yeah, it's also Gillespie's fault about what just happened in New York City. Which was basically actually this, just, you know, the people that are actually going to do it. But, oh no, it's because the left did it, it's perfectly fine. I'm beyond sick of people like this. She can just sit there, smirking as an ad is run that paints white people as murderers. They just want to kill people that aren't white. Just, just possibly think if you flip the roles. Oh man, that candidate would be done forever in politics and it would just be another thing that, you know, the white people can just never live down. I am so sick of you people. You are a disgusting human being. How can you possibly defend this ad? I have no idea. Never dis he's but never disavowed President Trump saying in the heels of the Charlotte, uh, the Charlotte riots that there are good people on both sides. Well, he's I never haven't disavowed, disavowed it either. That. Does that make me... I, it's not mine to disavow. I didn't say it. It's and not so yours to what, disavow, does that make but it me is as when he's running for governor disavow of Virginia. Disavow it? I mean, what? so refusing to disavow, whatever that means, something that somebody else said now makes you morally equivalent to what you say the first person is? Like, this is insane. When Yes, she is a lunatic. This is what Jess tried to get uh, Milo to do when he was interviewing there, or well, they were interviewing Milo on Studio 10. She kept saying he had to pay the consequences for other people's words. What is wrong with you, Harpy? Do you really defend? Do you really think defending this horrific ad and saying, "Oh no, it's perfectly fine"? Wow, just freaking wow running a campaign that actually goes right to the core of it you know he, he he actually talked about our heritage when he talked about the confederate monuments right like he is actually but it going is the heritage the of a of lot of people in virginia that's a real thing i mean the, the capital of the confederacy was in virginia you don't have to be for the confederacy or racism that's real i mean it happened there i mean like what are you supposed to say about it they're supposed to pretend that's not true no but there's also there are also massive riots where a woman died and people were beaten Yep, and NT from Black Lives Matter have been doing it for, what, two years now? Uh, I'm actually surprised the backlash hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. I don't want there to be any deaths whatsoever. But man, this racist, horrific, just propaganda that you Democrats are spewing is really just causing a massive divide. I can't actually, I keep I can't actually believe you are sitting here smirking and defending this ad. <laughs> Ah, I can't believe I've found someone that pisses me off as much as, say, Christy Winters or Clementine Ford. You are a terrible person. I just want to know what is so funny about this ad that is just abhorrently racist. Oh, but no, it's against white people, so who gives a shit, right? The fact that he won't actually come out and say with both his policies and the rhetoric of his campaign, this is not something that we allow. What's sort of ironic is wait, that he wait, actually wait, wait, has a campaign slogan to these all for, for, for all Virginias. Well, That's but, hardly the case. Wait, what you, this isn't, this is actually, you're playing with fire here and the fire is race and you're, you're telling voters that Ed Gillespie hates them because they're not white and there's no evidence of that at all and yet some people are going to watch that and believe it and it's going to bring us closer to some real conflict based on race it's irresponsible to run an ad like that don't you think yeah well she's a smoking lunatic that literally just needs to get in the helicopter and yeah i am so glad i am not tucker or i would just probably be screaming profanities at this person right now 
you're just an awful person. I don't see that ad saying that at all. What I see that ad saying is that it's reflecting what communities of color, Hispanic communities, are feeling by the rhetoric. Well, maybe set by maybe his you should assure them it's not true that Ed Gillespie is not going to run down their children. Isn't the responsible thing to do if people have fears that are unreasonable? And that's not reasonable fear. Ed Gillespie is not going to run your kids down with a truck. No, and Shouldn't I don't think that ad say, is saying he himself will be running people no, down with a truck. Ed Gillespie but there's a real the fear truck. about an increase in violence. Yeah, against freaking white people. I'm sorry, but minority communities aren't actually targeted. I've looked at the stats. Basically, black people kill white people. Black people kill black people. And yeah, it's just so disproportionate. <laughs> this is just... Ah, uh, and it's just the smirk that you keep doing. It makes me actually just want to hit my wall. You do realize my keyboard can't stand to lose any more keys. I won't be able to type. But this is just abhorrent. This is just not even literally li living in reality. This is just this woman. Oh, man. Look, we hear this from teachers. From Ed Gillespie? No, we hear this from teachers saying that, well, and sure we hear this in Virginia, that, 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 the, that the violent rhetoric against students of color is increasing. But, but Ed Gillespie, is okay, increasing. look, that may or may not, you know, we can debate it. But Ed Gillespie, here I am flacking for Ed Gillespie. I, <laughs> you know, I'm not like a huge supporter of Ed Gillespie, but I'm just, I'm offended by the unfairness and the the creepiness and the, the race baiting quality of this ad. You don't see that at all. You're suggesting that Ed Gillespie wants to kill minority children. That's not a problem. Not, I am not suggesting that, but I do think that, that it does need to be called out that this is the impact on communities of color. I'm so sick of hearing the term communities of color, minority groups. Oh, I'm just beyond sick of it. It's just so idiotic, okay? Be an individual, stop being so freaking weak. Guess what, gay people have different mindsets. What's wrong with you freaking people? I don't understand. I seriously don't get how she can defend this ad and say it is actually her opponent's fault that she and her party are massive racists. It's just, it's actually giving me a headache. It's just so crazy. And she just sits there with that freaking smirk. Oh man, I'm so sick of you freaking racists. <laughs> you call us the racists, really. And minority communities, when you run a race-baiting campaign... But wouldn't it be helpful to run an ad to minority communities and say, hey, you may fear that Ed Gillespie wants to kill you because you're non-white. But that's not true. That's far from... The, you know, we don't agree with Ed Gillespie on a lot of things. But he's not a Klansman who's going to murder you. Wouldn't that be more helpful? For, why don't you do that? No. The no, no. You'd rather just smear your candidate with abhorrent lies instead of actually telling the truth. Yeah, just let the country burn. Why not? I just want my political candidate to win. <laughs> Where do you find these people, Tucker? Seriously, I don't know how you are not just getting up and walking off. Man, I would be like, I am pissed and I'm, I'm not even directly speaking to this awful human being. They would not be more helpful. Oh, because that wouldn't that. help you win the race. No, no, oh, first I of all, get. We are so running it's like a campaign. whatever. It, in it's actual whatever election. It takes. Well, that, that's the, the, exactly the point. America, no that he may actually have a different no, perspective on immigration, but he's willing to run these ads that are race baiting. Uh -huh. You are the race baker, race baiter, you smirking harpy. You are the one that's doing it. Okay. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. But yeah, I don't even think your opponent's done anything wrong. So. Ah, oh, man, I can't wait to five to ten years' time when these people are just literally laughed off into the streets. Ah, oh, man. I don't understand why people in a majority white country keep shitting all over the white people. How, what is that going to eventually lead to? What do you think the end goal is going to be? I know what it is, but hey, you apparently don't care. You just want the country to burn. Yeah. That's exactly the point. Okay. He's willing to do whatever we've, it takes. We've defined race baiting to be like whatever we disagree with. I've noticed that because I think Ed Gresby is way too liberal on immigration. So where does that put me? I'd actually say that it puts <laughs> I mean, like, you as a, I'd say it puts you as a, a, a dissatisfied Republican okay. who should be dissatisfied yeah. with Ed Gillespie because he'll okay. say and do whatever <laughs> it takes to try to get votes. You got him coming and going. I'm more confused than ever. Emily, thank you. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm sorry I got frustrated, but this woman really just grinded my gears and, yeah, my poor freaking keyboard. Man, seriously. Uh, I don't understand how you can be massively racist and just claim your opponent is, and then there you go. You don't have to worry about your actions whatsoever. It's just fantastic. Anyway, guys, the audio may be a bit off on this one. I don't know what, my microphone's just messing up even more, so I'll try and fix that out, but... Uh, let me go in the comment section below if I've overreacted a bit. This one should have come out earlier. I've seen a couple of people cover, the, uh, cover this, but I just had to as well because I couldn't get it out of my mind. And I'm hoping we can get to a point where 
yeah, the Democratic Party can't just be massively racist in a campaign against white people. I really, really hope so. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen for a while, but hey, uh, eventually will, hopefully. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.